Hi everybody, this is Bruce here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Traveling with Bruce. Please subscribe to my channel today and become a key supporter of Traveling with Bruce by clicking the Patreon link. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Got a road trip today. I'm in front of the world's tallest teepee. This structure is uh, about 20 stories tall. It's located in Medicine Hat, Alberta, here in Canada. And it's behind me, and uh, you might get an idea how big this structure is by taking a look at that trailer there. That trailer has uh, been pulled in here by a transport truck. It's a stage. There's going to be a concert here later today, and uh, it's dwarfed by the size of this structure. Look how, how high it is. It's really hard to tell how big this is, but it is massive. And it was originally used in 1988 during the opening ceremonies and closing ceremonies of the uh, Winter Olympics in Calgary. And uh, the structure was uh, designed as just a temporary thing, uh, just for the opening and closing ceremonies. But after the games were over, there was a bit of a movement afoot to try to save it. <clears throat> and uh, a, a campaign was put together to, uh, to uh, salvage it and, and put it up in a permanent location. And so here it resides in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And it's right beside the Trans-Canada Highway. You might hear the uh, traffic in the background. A lot of folks come here and, and check it out every year. And it's built to last. It's, it's going to be here for quite some time. Really a, a cool structure. Okay, another way to figure out how big this uh, unit is, this TP is. This is one of the legs right here that I'm standing beside. And it is... Uh, it is bolted into the ground here, as you can see. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that shot just right. It is bolted in, and I'm beside it. Solid, solid steel. And I'm standing now right inside it, if you look behind me. I'll just pan up here. <laughs> you can see inside this unit. It goes right up there, 20 stories tall. This is designed to withstand 200 mile an hour winds, something like that. Uh, so even if a tornado came through here, it's not going to knock it over. It's uh, pretty solid, but uh, it's become a real cultural icon <coughs> of the area. Uh, it's view visible for miles uh, around here. Behind me, behind me, open prairie. This is all Indian land here, and so it's uh, natural, and it's a really cool place to come to. Uh, the teepee has really found its its permanent home. It's been fantastic. Here we go. Now what you're looking at here is the original lapel pin that was used to save the teepee back in 1988. This is the 1988 Calgary Olympic teepee pin with the Olympic colors. And if you'd like one of these pins, I have some available. You can become a member of my Patreon uh, family with a $10 contribution. Or look at the description below the video. You can send $10 to an address I'll give you if you'd like one of these pins. Is that cool or what? Cool. Darn right it is. Anyway, uh, if you want one of those pins, uh, uh, check below and, and there's a description in the description. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how you can get one. I have about 100 available and the first 100 people that, uh, that uh, send in for one, I'll be happy to send it along. It's a collectible. Uh, it's 30 years old next uh, year and uh, the pins are absolutely brand spanking new. They've been in mint condition and I happen to come across some of these from, from all the years that I've been around. Some more video here of the TP uh, to see the structuring of it. Uh, just an amazing uh, structure. The engineering to put this back together was really something special. These concrete pilings you see on the ground, uh, they're, <laughs> they're in there forever. And that structure is bolted in. There's no way it's going to tip over or, or blow away. Uh, all they have to do is really uh, maybe once in a while paint the uh, steel structure. And uh, it'll last for, I don't know, 100 years. It's going to last an awfully long time. And it's tough to, uh, to photograph this TP. I mean, look how tall it is. You see these trucks, pickup trucks and vehicles at the bottom of it. Uh, you got to walk back uh, quite a ways to get the uh, shot with a camera and uh, get it all in one frame. Uh, otherwise, uh, you only get a part of the uh, structure. And uh, here's a night shot, uh, beautifully lit at night. It's visible for miles and miles on your, when you're driving along the highway. The city of Medicine Hat is uh, proud of it and should be. It's become kind of their symbol, and uh, it, it is really a great structure. If you ever get the chance to see it, check it out. Thanks for viewing again today with Traveling with Bruce. Take care.